After we had finished the visit of the abode of the dead, when we went out of this place of torment, then I saw a huge pit that went beyond my sight, I could not see the beginning nor the end, my companion angel called another angel and instructed him to remove the cover of this abyss, I saw this angel coming with a massive key, and he removed the cover of the endless pit, as a result I saw a huge sea of burning flames a fire intense like ocean wave, a world of flames, I started to walk back, the angels of the Lord told me, there is no place to run here, come and see, I was in terror and I said to the Lord angels, you want to throw me in the fire, have you brought me here to cast me in the fire, they replied to me, you are not falling inside the fire, just come to see, when I look at the fire I saw like a massive forest burning, but there was no one and no wood in this burning fire, I wonder what is this kind of fire, the angel replied, this is the lake of fire and sulfur prepared for the devil and his angels, there is no one here, the dead are in the place of torment, however I saw a man in the lake of fire, he was chained like an animal, the angel said this is Lucifer, I asked them, have you arrested him already, if that's so who is the one tormenting the human world, the angel replied to me, this is just an image of things to come, for he will be arrested and cast in the lake of fire very soon, the lost souls that you saw in the abode of the dead will fall in this place with him, there will be gnashing of teeth, and there is no water in this lake, those who live in sin, will be wood in this fire, then we move across the flames of the lake of fire, and we landed on the other side, where I saw a slippery mountain that was really high, the Lord angels told me, we must climb the slippery mountain, in order to avoid slipping back in the lake of fire, don't look left and right or behind, just look up, the road to heaven is slippery, you must remain focus on the things from above, don't be distracted by what is happening, don't look back to the world, don't look left and right, have your eyes set on the everlasting kingdom of light, in the road to heaven you will face suffering, but be strong, we were climbing the slippery mountain, when we had reached the top of the mountain, I saw a massive building in the shape of a triangle or a pyramid, this massive structure was built with multiple precious stones, I remember the new Jerusalem was square, but this massive building adorned with precious stones was the shape of a pyramid, on the left side it was written intelligence, on the right it was written wisdom, on the base it was written faith, and on the top it was written Jesus Christ, my eyes were lifted towards the top of the pyramidal mountain in the recesses of the north, reading the name of Jesus Christ that's when I noticed that the pick and top end of the mountain was the end of the world, it was the mount of the congregation and assembly of God, far away in the north, for there was no more sky, no cloud and no stars, and there was no space above the utmost heights of Mount Zion, it was like the world has ended there, I don't know how to explain this mystery for there was no more sky, I ask the angels of the Lord, where is the sky? They laugh and replied, there is no sky here in the far reaches of the north, it has ended, I told them, in our world when you look up you will see the sky, but there was no sky at the top of the mountain Zion, the Lord angels told me, the sky and the cloud are left below, where we pass these planet and the second heaven, the Lord angels reveal that the one that seat on the top of the pyramid is omniscient, full of knowledge and wisdom and his faith is unshakable for it does not moved as we stood before the gate of Mount Zion, I saw countless happy souls dressed in white pure, holding palm leaf on their hand, they were singing Hosanna and glory to the Lord, I wonder, is this the rapture and the arrival of the bride in the kingdom of God, is it happening already, the angels replied, this is things that are about to happen, what you see is the people of all nations all race and all color taken from the four corners of the earth in the rapture of the church, they are dressed in white and they are holding palm leaves, they have thoroughly washed their robes and made them white, they left their earthly habitation, on that day of the rapture millions at blood washed saints will be dressed in white garment and defiled, they will be filled with abounding joy and they will hold palm leaves, they will sing to the Lord when heading to the throne to glorify the Lord, finally I saw the gate of Zion opening, and we enter the heavenly court of the throne, the Bible say, you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. You have come to myriads of angels in joyful assembly, to the congregation of the firstborn, 
enrolled in heaven, I saw in the horizon a majestic and beautiful throne that was shining with great light like mirror, you would not be able to watch the man that sat on the throne because of rays of light that was shooting from his eyes, and the glory of the throne. He was surrounded by twenty-four thrones and those who sat around the throne were worshipping him, they said you are God, you are the one who have overcome, you are full of grace, you bought us. I saw the living creatures responding Amen to their words, and repeating three times you are holy when I look I saw that the one that sat on the throne shining like mirror had put his feet on the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of the main street of the city. On either side of the river stood a tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, I look at the blue and crystal river of life that has its source before the throne. This blue and crystal clear water seems to be the one that I saw in the New Jerusalem, the Lord angels said this is the source of the blue river you saw in the New Jerusalem, then I saw a table before the one who sat on the throne, and above the table there was an incense and candlestick, I saw that his eyes were focused on the candlesticks, the Lord angels told me, the people sitting on the twenty-four thrones are the elders, their role is to praise the one that is on the throne. I asked why are these people with faces of lion, bird and animals, how come they are talking and saying Amen, they have so many wings, the Lord angels told me. The creature that is like a lion means that the king that is on the throne is the great lion, they call him the lion of the tribe of Judah, what do you think the lion represent in the world, its kingship and royalty. The creature with face of the lamb before the throne means that the one you see on the throne is a high priest. He made himself a sacrifice shedding his blood to redeem humanity to obtain the forgiveness of the sin. The creature with the human face means that this king went down to earth and spent nine months in the womb and was born like a human, and he lived like a human, he was the son of man. The creature with eagle face means the one who sat on the throne is the great eagle, he see in great distance, no need to try and hide for he see all, he is the eagle, what happen when eagles meet? is that they share the meat. The one who sat on the throne only gather with other eagles to share the words, which is the meat, he is the word because he loved the word, you wonder why these living being have many wings, it's because they are cherubim, their wings means the new and old testament, I said why is the king dressed with this huge garment and why are his feet on the source of the river? His garments say the angels represent good deeds for he is full of goodness and holiness. That is why the elders repeat holy holy holy, his feet on the river source, meaning he walk on the word, have you not read that his disciples saw him walking on the water, which represent the word, and the people of the world, he is looking at the candlestick because they are the five ministry, they are his only hope, he is inspecting the work of the five ministry on the land, he feels pain when the five ministry deviate from his path. The blue water is the fact that whatever he say is the truth, I say to the angels, does it means that this man is Jesus Christ, they replied to me, you said it, I said where is God the Father if this man is Jesus Christ, for the Bible say he is sitting on the right hand of the Father. The angel said, we don't see God the Father we just hear what he say like you, when the Father speak it's like thunder, you won't bear it, if you see Jesus Christ you see the Father for Jesus is in the Father and the Father is in him, I said in that case Jesus is God himself, they said you spoke well, I asked the Lord angels, you say Jesus Christ is God himself, but when he was baptized there was a voice that said this is my son, in whom I am please, the angel asked me, in your world, how do you call the office of the president, we call it the presidency I said, the angels asked me, when the president traveled to a foreign country, does that means the presidency office is closed, I replied no it is still open despite the president absence, the Lord angels say, you must understand that the one who came down to earth is just a branch of the Godhead, for they are four branch, the eagle, the lamb, the lion and the man, the one who came down is the man, that is why he was called the son of man, these are the things of the spirit not the flesh, God becoming a man must not be an issue for he can become whatever he want, he is multi-system, since the creation we don't see the father face we only see the light that cover his face, even before the creation of men we only saw the Lord who is Jesus Christ, 
and when Jesus enter the glory of the Father he speak like thunder and it's unbearable, you will not be able to stand and look at him, he is there staring the candlestick, seating in the glory of the Father, if he had to speak to you you will crumble on the ground, tell the world Jesus is God himself, then I was taken to where angels were praising and dancing, they told me, as you are going back to the world, be like angels, don't do anything that displease the Lord, don't wear trousers and miniskirt. The angel looked at me and asked me, why did you cut the hair of your eyes, I said I wanted to do the line with beauty pencil so that it will be better, the Lord angel told me, that beauty pencil you draw on the face is called follow me to hell, you cannot cut the hair of your eyes, immediately I saw an angel coming, he was holding many little bag containing human hair, there were names of women on these bag, he told me these are hair that you cut, nothing is lost, since you are waiting for the rapture, be natural like angels, are they ugly, I said they are extremely beautiful, then we began to move alongside the throne, I saw that there was no sky here it was like the top end of the universe, then we went got out of the throne room, we began to descend the Mount Zion, and finally we reached the base, where I saw three hut, it was written the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit, then I saw a robust man, joining me, when he greeted me with his hand, I felt electricity, and I was in wonder, he told me, don't be trouble, for I have transmitted you my anointing, you will work with it, I did not know that this robust man was Jesus Christ himself, he told me let go, I replied can I ask you a question, what is the meaning of these three hut, he told me you can see that it is written the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. These three are one. They form the way of life, you see three hut because the Father has his work, the Son has his work likewise the Holy Spirit, I said I have one more question, there is a strong debate in the world, they are people that are baptizing in the name of the Father, the name of the Son and the Holy Spirit, and some of us are baptizing people in the name of Jesus Christ, what is the difference, the man replied to me there is no difference, at this point this man was not telling me that he is Jesus Christ himself, he told me, when Jesus was in the world, he said to the disciples to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, this was a prophecy, Jesus told the disciple that way because he was in the world, and he was supposed to honor and respect the glory of the Father, but when he went back to the glory of the Father in heaven, they became one, he asked me, how many throne did you see? I saw one throne I replied, he told me, now that the Son has returned to his glory people will baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, because within Jesus Christ there is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, I said what about people that were baptized in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, should they could be baptized again, he replied no it's the same, it's like you, someone can call you Sabina someone else can call you Deborah and someone else can call you Tin and Ketu, these are all your name, don't waste your time in these debate what matter is to be plunge in the water, then I noticed that my garment were tong, the man said this is because you are before the sun, that is burning and exposing your actions, I said where is the sun I cannot see it, he said, really you don't see the sun that is before you, when you grow up you will understand, when Adam fell in the garden, he was wearing leaves to cover his nakedness, and when the sun came down the leaves they were wearing was consumed, and they became naked, since you met the sun, he will find you new garment, I was ashamed and could not walk with this man, and I was walking behind him full of shame, because of dirty garment that was torn, since I was staying behind him, he told me, Deborah run and join me, I was running to join him when he told me, don't run, walk slowly and surely, I said you told me to run and when I tried to run you tell me to walk, and when I walk slowly he told me to run again, he did that three times, I was upset, aggravated and frustrated, I said what's wrong with him, he told me Deborah, I am trying to teach you to have a cool heart, a slow heart and patient heart, learn self control, learn to have a cool heart that does not aggravate, when I said walk slowly and surely, I mean that any man that follow Jesus and join his camp, like you learn in the third gate of the New Jerusalem, where you learn to walk with Jesus, you should not be in hurry or be in precipitation, learn patience and tenderness, people who come to Jesus Christ must learn to bear and endure in their heart, 
they must abandon doubt, they should not rush to get what they want, go slow with God don't be rushing, Jesus said now I have to find you new garment, you cannot walk around with this torn and dirty robe, then he brought me to a building of five gate, when we had entered the first gate I saw all kind of celestial garment, the man told the angels that were working in this building, find her a beautiful garment, the Lord angels told me, come to choose a garment of your choice, I took a skirt and a blouse, that were grey, my torn garment was burn, the Lord told me this new garment that you are wearing means holiness, you will now walk in sanctity, make sure that your garment remain clean and no dirt, the grey skirt that you chose means humiliation and humility, you will walk in humility and simplicity get rid of pride, even if someone insult you be a humble woman, the blouse you are wearing is called breastplate, when you walk in holiness no arrow of witches will reach you, the reason your torn and dirty garment are burn, it's your old characters that must be burned so that you will not come back to it, when they chop tree from the field they did not leave it on the ground for fear they will grow again but they burn it in the fire, the axe lies ready at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire, for old character must be burned and consumed by the hot furnace of God, evil habit must be consumed by fire of purification, notice that you are the one who chose this garment, that means repentance change and conversion is a decision a man has to take, God will not take it for men, preachers are there to preach and show you the way but the decision is in your hand to regret and confess your attitude and sins, brother you must make a decision, amen, manabove00 at gmail.com, whatsapp, plus 243 979 574 090.